Hello, and welcome to Between These Dark Walls, a uh, thief fan mission. Um, it doesn't have a briefing, like most of them, so I'm going to switch out to notepad here and read it out. Things could potentially get messy tonight. I was on my way back home when some tough boys ambushed me. They weren't looking for money or anything, they just wanted to kill me right there on the street. Fortunately, I managed to run away unscathed, but these guys are still looking for me. I've managed to piece together something from rumours and hearsay. Turns out Master Beric, a user I've done jobs for in the past, sold me out to Reputo, one of the city wardens, in order to prove that he'll be loyal and pay his tribute. Apparently Beric's business collapsed with the wall's demise, and now he seeks the protection of Reputo. Not to mention Beric's business was run right under Reputo's nose, but he was protected by the wall at the time. In exchange for his good work, Beric received a priceless necklace as a reward, and keeps it stashed in his crumbling castle in Newmarket. Now it's time for some sweet revenge. I'm going to steal Beric's necklace and humiliate him. That'll teach him never to double-cross me. I should also steal some valuables along the way, just to show Reputo how I deal with his reckless threats. Reputo doesn't like independence operating in his turf, so I'll make sure to plunder the neighbourhood. i got to be careful, though. With the wall's downfall, the city became more dangerous than ever. Thugs and assassins are on the loose in the dark, and lawmen and hammerites prowl the streets in search of heretics and criminals alike. Crags cleft has never been so full. Ready. Yeah, straight into hard difficulty. Mesa Beric betrayed you, so now it's time to make him pay. Break into his manor and steal the amethyst necklace Reputo gave him as a reward. And it's time to show Reputo how you deal with his threats. Don't leave New Market with less than 2400 worth of valuables. Killing is a mark of an amateur. Don't kill any unarmed people. Once you've accomplished your tasks, leave New Market the way you came. Alright. Nice view. Let's check them up. Up in New Market. Uh, Beric's Castle on the west is our goal. We have uh, Marketplace on Public Works, Hammer Priory, Talk Camera Concerns, Castle Spalding, Tyrell Estate. We start over here in the east of Stone Market Gate. Alright, we need to get to the castle and steal as much as we can on the way without uh, dying. Preferably. Well, there's guards wandering the streets. <coughs> yeah, what kind of equipment do I have? One healing potion, one flash bomb, because notice there wasn't even a shop there at the start of the mission. Four broadheads, four water arrows, two moss arrows, two rope arrows. There's a noisy guard somewhere to my left as well. Oh, you've got money. I think there's a uh, open window up there I'm hearing a guard from. Come on, give me your money, give me your money, give me, yeah. Oh. oh, there's someone walking along there, yeah. Up there, I guess. Mm. Can I see them? No, but I do see a beam. Alright, let's 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 start right away by going up. Okay, we'll take the rope. Where is this guard? Oh, he's an archer. And he's coming this way. I don't want him, particularly want him poking holes in me with his bow. He's not looking this way though. So maybe I can knock him on the head. Alright. Oh, what good does that do me? This doesn't open. Oh, is that an open window? That looks like an open window. Alright, let's grab my arrow back. And try going up that way. I see some more wooden beams and another open window off there, and possibly another open window over on the far side there. Looks like there's going to be a lot of uh, places to go here. Lots of climbing to do.
Well, another rip arrow is handy, and another healing potion is extremely handy. I can get out there, so I don't think I need this rope still here. So take it with me. Where's that guard I'm hearing? Down on the street. I oh, know it sounds like it's in there, and there's tile floors in that place. Is there another open window up on this? No, no, that's really not up on the roof. All right, let's let's try our hand. Not this one. Someone walking. I kind of want to see them before I jump in there. There's lots of tile floor. Yeah, there they come. Oh, they're coming this way. Hello? Is someone there? Ah, ah bollocks. That's not how it's supposed to go. I'm not supposed to be. Ow, ow, ow! What are you doing? You're not supposed to kill me! That's not fair! Ah! Alright. Well, that wasn't quite as I planned. Uh, I don't need the healing potion yet. What's this, what's this note I picked up? A perfumed love letter. My most esteemed Duchess! My heart pummels through my chest when I see your marvellous hair floating in the nightly breeze like feathers slowly falling on the ground. And when I see your flawless silhouette against the bright light of your windows, I cannot help myself but fall madly in love with you. I would enjoy the pleasure of your company on a stroll someday. I know of a wonderful Belvedere near Stone Market that has an incredible view of the city. I remain your most ardent admirer. Admirer. Lord Johann Grimshaw. Yeah, mm, alright. That doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> Sounds all too. Oh, he's still hunting. All too sentimental for uh, Gary here. Yeah. I timed that really badly, didn't I? I should have, like. My intent was to jump onto the carpet, run up behind him, and knock him on the head, but. Uh... Oh, he's going away again. Oh, there's tile on the windowsill. There's no intruder. I don't know what you're talking about at all. Sleep now. Anyone else coming in? Nope. They've given up on their... Mm. All right. Carpet! Hooray! Oh, they're out there. Okay. They're not going to make their way in here. Does this door open? No. Let's just go a little slowly and watch. Yeah, he had me anyway. All right. Uh, I think that's all the money in this house. Oh, got a window here. Down onto another, to the ledge. God, I'm gonna get lost. I'm gonna get hopelessly lost. Uh, oh, bollocks. Uh, whoops, I thought that was uh, my compass. That was a quick load. I need to fix that. Uh, let's fix that right now, actually, so I don't do that again. Compass, 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 compass. Where's compass? Compass. Eleven and F12. Done. Alrighty. Would you like a pot plant? Oh, he's uh, got a bow. That's unusual. Does he shoot hammers from his bow? 
Well, I'm not gonna hang around here to find out while he's still looking for me. I'm gonna come back that way. <laughs> so he is to the north, so, uh... I think I'm in the Tyrell Estate, so he's up there, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Is that already the Hammer Priory over there? So it come further than I expected. <laughs> More wooden beams above me. I do like people who build with wood in the city. Oh, do you see what I see? Down there on that ledge, there is some uh, money, but I can't reach it from here. Oh. Uh, there's another bowman, I think. Uh, maybe he's a swordsman. Alright, where's my map? I think there's some coins down here. So I'll make a note for later. Uh, a bowman shooting apples. That was a famous bit from the uh, Thief Gold blooper reel. They had a bowman. They had that. No, I should have shot five apples. Oh, can I get up there? I get around there, I don't know. Maybe. I want to try it. In any case, I'm going to have to go back and visit my hammer friend, I think. Can I make a jump up? Can I, can I get up on here? Well, what do you know? Can I make that jump, you think? I think it's worth a save first. Oh, ouch. Well, I didn't die, so I'm not allowed to reload. But uh, I could make it. I was just in that awkward position where I hit the corner of it. So I didn't land on it. And uh, I also didn't, wasn't able to mantle it. All right, there we are. Now it's, now it's time for my healing potion. Oh, that hammer man had me again. <laughs> Right up here, so he can probably see me. Oh, maybe he's maybe he doesn't look up. Where are thou, villain? No, oh, he's still on the hunt. Oh dear, what am I gonna do from up here? Uh, I can't go up there. Um. Careful, I can fall down to my death, that's easy. I can walk across this roof, no. Nope. Ah! Just me. Alright. I think that jump is a bad idea because I don't think it gets me anywhere uh, where I can usefully survive. Well, let's just see if I can get down to this. Alright, that'll do. Don't know how I didn't hurt myself there, but I will take it. Alright, let's go back up through here and go down to meet Mr. Hammerman from the lower area. Ah, I woke him up again. Let's be quiet just to not aggravate him any more than I need to. Ah, he's, he's, he's angry. Do notice some dark. <laughs> Ouch. Come on, Bowman. You thought you heard noises, but there's nothing here, just the wind. And some more rats. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to be seen. Look in this shadowy corner. There's nothing here. Look, I can't even see anything. Oh, 
Can we? Can we just look in the corner? Oh well. There's your unconscious body there now. Okay, what do we got? Uh, I can climb up on there, I think. If I can go up here first. Got another wooden beam. Sitting out of that window. <laughs> I don't think there's anything on the window ledge. You can't see anything. So what's this guy protecting? Oh, hello, place of death. Oh, there's a guard down there. Is that, is that west? No, that's south. Hmm. This guy was guarding something that's not of much interest to me. Because there's nothing there at all. And this is that. Is that wood? Uh, it looks like metal. Yeah, it's metal. The eaves on that building. I'm wondering if there's a way to get up there. To, you know, maybe it was my. from my secret. jump to my death position there. Is, but... uh, does this actually connect anywhere then? I could like go very quickly down to the street but not very safely. Huh. Well it doesn't definitely doesn't open, so Oh well, seems a dead end. Off we go up here then. That's a nice garden. All these people with their wooden beams sticking out. Uh, you know, it's quite nice. Quite handy for people equipped with rope arrows. Oh! What arrows? Thank you. There's nothing up there, is there? I just kind of feel like I've got to check now. Oh, there's that window there. Ah, okay. oh, there is something up here. Although. Possibly, I would have been better doing that. Doing this from the ground. Ah, whatever. It worked. I didn't die this time. What have we got? Loot. On a note, a thief's letter. Here's one I managed to swipe from Lord Wimple's manor near the Weeping Angel. A pair of opera spectacles, two gold vases, and a jeweled tiara. Your pay comes with the package. Of course, keep the items safe until we can fence them. Cutty may be interested, but I've heard Beric has managed to restart his operations and he's in our turf while Cutty isn't. Anyway, keeping an eye on them shouldn't be that hard, even for you. The TR is real good quality, so don't lose it. Bentham. I'll Bentham. I'll leave the note for you so you know what you've lost, that you've been robbed. Yeah, not hiding anything behind your boxes here. Or your bed. <laughs> What? Why are you? What are you spending all the gold that you get in exchange with these valuables on? You know, I really don't know. All right, how do I get down? Hmm. Probably using that same beam and more acrobatics. Not, oh, not like that, Garrett. Well. Whoops. Can I get my arrow back, please? Without hurting myself anymore. Thank you. Ouch, I'm almost dead. This should be nice soft grass, too. I mean, it looks like a pile of leaves on this. Oh, I guess it's flowers. <laughs> Alright. Ah, healing potions worn off. Let's take the other one. So I nearly killed myself. Hopefully I'll find some more in this mission. So down there, I think, is where I started. Yeah, that's where I climbed up the first time. So... This ledge feels very unsafe. There's another guard on the streets. Doesn't even go anywhere.
Apparently not. Oh, these windows are open, are they? No. Alright, I guess time to continue back west now. I wonder how much there is to steal on the ground level. I don't know. I'm not about to find out just yet. Alrighty. Back we go. So, where to now? I'm gonna go back through this building here. See if there's an easy way to progress from the other side. Did I leave my other rope here? I did. Okay. I suppose that's kind of good, but also kind of bad. Let's stick one in there. And I should be able to retrieve this one from that rope. I hope. That's no, so too far away, isn't it? Let's try. Grab it and jump! Perfect. And... Great! No more damage to myself. <sighs> Alright, which way am I going? I'm trying to go west. Yeah, that's not really a good way to get there, is that? I'm gonna have to go down to street level again. Alright. Retrace my steps a little. Maybe. That's not a good way down. <laughs> the downside of being a somewhat acrobatic thief. I wonder if I can drop down onto one of these electric lamps without hitting myself much. Oh! Oh, it's a gargoyle. Well, I didn't hurt myself too much. I mean, I'm still alive. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Alright, uh... Dear, dear, dear. Anything at... Oh, there's some notices. Honest folk of Newmarket! It has come to the attention of the most honourable Lord Karenins, Burgomaster of Upper Newmarket, that a knave of most foul reputation and of dark appearance may prowl in our humble district to rob the honest man and steal from the rich. Let it be known that the Baron's police, with the help of the Order of the Hammer in Newmarket, led by the most esteemed father of all, shall do their best to catch this criminal. Thusly declared, Lord Kurains, Burgomaster of Upper Newmarket. Alright, what about the dishonest folk of Newmarket? Are they gonna... what do they get this notice? Honest citizens, be thou warned that the Order of the Hammer present in Newmarket shall from now on assist the Baron's police in its duty. Our borough must be cleansed of filth, and it is with this very purpose that the builder's servants shall always remain vigilant and smite the skulking thief, chastise the wild prostitute, and imprison the unruly criminal. Thusly signed and approved by his eminence, the high priest Markander, Father Rebo. Well, I've been warned. You wish to smite me? Alright. We had a bowman wandering around the streets. This is Harcourt Street. Can I hear him? There's a dark corner. Oh, it's. How am I wandering the streets? There's a guard I saw from up above. Possibly even up there. Where's this hammer going? No, he's not coming this way. What am I going to do about him? Hopefully he just won't see me. Hopefully he's lines as a bat, like a swordsman. Thanks for watching, Adrian. Someone behind me? No. 
hope there'll be anybody behind you. What a ridiculous notion. Of course it's clear. Is this just the same notes? Yeah, whoops. I'll lean forward and Frog doesn't actually pause. It's the lean forward key to cancel. You, yes, sir! <coughs> Would like to be introduced to my blackjack. Where's your money? Where's your money? Oh, uh, hello. Would you also like to be introduced? My blackjack has lots of friends. You two should both be honoured to be among them. You didn't have anything on you, did you? No. Do you want to meet my friend as well? No? Alright. So, let's keep going south, I guess. More guards on the streets. What happened to that archer I saw patrolling? Does he just, like, patrol forever? Uh, flash bombs don't unlock doors, but lockpicks do. It's not dark. Is that footsteps coming this way? Well, I'll keep an eye open while I pick the rest of this lock. Alright. What's this? A scroll. You're dead. Your skull, sir. Oh, was it a note to your friend here whose head I see? What are you doing? Well, you can also make my friend blackjack. Blackjack you right in the gut. Ooh, there's someone up there, is that? Speed potion, nice. What are you hiding behind this banner? Nothing. How about the other one? Hello, head. Oh, it's like that. Well, that somebody who uh, crossed this guy, I guess. Nothing there either. Well, well. That doesn't open. Let's take a look up here. And see what we can find about from this guard who's coughing a bit. Wait, oh, they're outside. Wow, the sound travels amazingly on a still night like this. Oh, they're right out the window, okay. I don't want the vase, why do I want the vase? Can't pop the candle out. There's one thing I hate more than lit candles, that's lit candles that can't be extinguished. With tiny, tiny, tiny little flames in them. There's an archer. Pickpocket stuffs, I think. Why don't you come in here with the candle? At least nobody will see you. 
930 already, that's not doing too badly, out of uh, 2400, <sighs> we've got a fine. <laughs> Someone over there. A sewers. Hmm, I wonder if I could make that jump from here to that uh, to that place. I don't know. Let's 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 see what's up here first. Uh, and I'm continually getting disoriented, hence I keep pulling out the compass. Oh, somebody in the garden. Keep an eye open. Make sure they don't keep an eye open for me. <laughs> Can we get over there? Oh, what's over here? Another open window, wow. This, this is just crazy. No, 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 no. Ah! Okay, Alright, that's not the way to do things. Let's try a little more central, I think, in there. Carefully around the statue. Onto the rope. And then through the window, Garrett. Is that in here? Someone behind me. No. Seems clear enough now. Well, it's perfectly clear. And also, I was in front of you, not behind you. Why don't you come this way, Mr. Guard? Thank you. Likes my little friend. Can I read these enormous scrolls? I'm disappointed. I would love to unroll them and have a, you know, a five meter high scroll to read. But I'll take the candlestick. And these valuable vases. There's another guard here. Oops. Did not mean to take that step forward. Where's that snoring coming from? Well, I'll take your bottle. Hmm. The fireplace is snoring? I don't know. But I don't want to walk too noisily while there's someone asleep nearby, because I don't want to wake him up. That would be rude. It'd be very rude. Alright, what's this say? The City Tribune! Infamous crime lord DeWall arrested! DeWall, the well-known city warden, was arrested yesterday by the Baron's police with the help of the Order of the Hammer. The assault was person personally led by Captain Pearsall, who told the Tribune, Today we celebrate a great victory. Thanks to our relentless efforts, we have triumphed over crime. DeWall and his men were the plague of the city, and rest assured that every criminal will suffer the same fate as long as I am in command. More on page 6. Gems of Sarnoth cut in small pieces and found on the black market. Lord Solis, owner of the Famulus Gems, discovered three months ago that his precious gems were gone when he came back from a banquet organized by vast collector Lord Randall in downtown. The case was so mysterious it was dropped two days after the theft, but now a respectable diamond cutter from Upper Dark Smoke claims he has clearly identified small diamond fra fragments as being, without a shadow of a doubt, the gems of Sarnoth cut in small pieces for the black market. More on page 9. What's up with that snoring I hear? Doesn't make any sense to be coming through here. Doesn't make any sense. There's no beds. Two doors. Well, that was locked. That was not. I guess we go this way. All the 
bit here, but there's Mr. Snorri Mountain on it. Yeah! Healing! Healing! Yay! Thank you, map designer. Uh, that's, that's worthy of a save, certainly. Oh, a harp. Oh, that looks valuable. It's a scroll that I don't know if you able to interact with. Alright, still locked. Let's see if we can unlock it. Somebody over on that balcony, which well, maybe I'll just jump too. But this is a nice wooden beam. I can certainly get up there from the street level. I don't need to worry about it from here. So let's just close it all behind us. See what we've got here. One button. Nothing. Just me opening the door into my own face again. Is this where our snoring friend is? <coughs> nope. What guard? The what guards? Do you have money? No, you have no money. Do you have a nice fireplace though? And more importantly, <laughs> you have a banner. All banners must perish. You've got a key. Basement study key and a note. Dear sister, I have received your secret letter and I must confess it made me glimpse hope again. I found a piece of parchment and a quill in my husband's study down in the basement. I had to steal a copy of the key from him while he was sleeping. But if he ever discovers I've done this and I've been writing to you, he will undoubtedly punish me. My days here between these dark walls are dull and moribund, and you know that my husband is a ruthless man. My young girl's dreams were shattered the day of our wedding, and I will never forgive father for this. William is a brute and he has me confined in a small bedroom with no windows. I rarely see daylight and this castle is so grim it seems the very night haunts it with its presence. I can hear the walls whisper. I can hear them faintly shake as if there were rats in the walls scurrying and running along the cracks. It may be because of this bleak atmosphere. I am losing my mind here. If only I could be a child again. Well, let's make sure he doesn't discover your letter. And doesn't suspect you, he'll just think you're asleep in a strange position on your bed. Obviously, uh, someone from a kind of stole all the stuff, you, you can't be blamed for that. Alright, so that's why I can hear her husband, I guess, Brute William, sleeping somewhere down somewhere. There's a secret passive by this fireplace or something like that that lets the sound through. I wonder if I can actually fit in there. Do I waste a water arrow? Yeah, let's let's waste a water arrow on this fireplace and check it out. Not sure I can fit, it's very narrow. No, well it was a waste. Alright. Oh, he heard me. I know you're out there. Oh. I don't know. It's not a lever, it's just loot. You know I'm out there, but I don't know about where you are. Was there a door out this way that I hadn't opened? No. So he would be over that way somewhere. see anything over there that seemed to be a way in. So how do I get there? I don't know. Nope! Ah! 
Someone tapping about there. Whoop. Careful, Garrett. Careful. <sighs> so. You know, some secret door I hear. <sighs> well, we've got Mr. Garden Man over here as well to deal with. Just forget about him. How do we get to the garden? I don't know. Something don't get there from here. Alright. Are these upper windows open or anything like that? No. Basement study, but where's the basement? Oh, there's a downstairs. And he seems to know it's me. He addressed me as Garrett just there. See one of the down windows and recognizes my footsteps. You saw? There's nothing here at all. That's not even very dark. Well, that was a waste. Tile floor. to happen. Alright, alright, you ready? I'll try not to die this time. So, I know you'll be coming to this room very shortly. I'll just sit here and wait and watch. Just for a moment. Here, you stand behind the chair and what? You just stand there. Well, that would be a good opportunity for me if I could uh, get there. Let's try it. So, who's there? Who was done? You? What was that? It was nothing. It was nothing. <laughs> nothing but silence. <laughs> No. No, 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 don't fall in the fire and hurt yourself. That's dangerous. Alright. That's better. I didn't die that time. 
Not that we have any anything to pick up here. Down there. All right. Oh, and I almost forgot the loot. Hmm, these two do like washing up. Anything in the cupboards? No, they're not open. All right. Uh, what about the shelves here? Carrots. I'll take carrots. I'll eat them all up. Don't need a knife. Too noisy. All right. Must be the way to the basement, where our friend was asleep until I woke him up with my trampling on all those tiles. Hmm. A doorway, I don't know. Let's try a key here. Where is it? Sound propagation is very odd. I can't hear those generators from this side of the door. As soon as I open the door, I can hear them. How strange. Uh, is that. I don't like the looks of this. Blood. I don't like the looks of this either. What's going on here? Let me make sure I've got a flash bomb already in case I need. in case I get surprised. going on here? Messaberic, I want to personally thank you for your invaluable help. With that petty independent thief Garrett out of the way, I currently have the best underguild network in the city and I am most pleased to say it was all thanks to you. It is only a matter of time before my men find him and if your information is accurate, it shouldn't take long. As a token of my gratitude, please accept this most formidable amethyst necklace I acquired from Sarek. I know you have a fondness for jewellery, so I'm sure this reward will please you and I am, of course, Eager to do business with you again, Raputo. Yeah, more of the gems of Samoth, I guess. Oh, wine cellar key. There's a wine cellar. Nine twenty-one thirty-three. New window for the northern wing. Tell that lazy slob Mortimer to replace it. Twenty-four seventy-four. But let him jump. This is his uh, ledger. Information from Drenko. Gemstones from Bone. Must pick them up on Wednesday morning in Stone Market. Golden statuette of apparent pagan origin. Is it from the Larlock Society? Received an amethyst necklace from Sarik as a gift offered by Lord Raputo. I hope his henchman can handle that thief Garrett or whatever name he goes by these days. Sounds like the man has a talent for hiding like a coward. Also, where the hell did I put the second key to my study? I suspect someone might be stealing from the wine cellar. If it's a downwinder, I gotta say they got nerve. Three times have I heard noises coming from beyond the door, but of course my lazy house guards told me they didn't hear a thing. Guess I'll close the taffing door, keep the damn key with me, and tell Sinclair to watch for intruders. Can't be too cautious. I heard a strange noise when I was in my bedroom. I thought it was just the wind, but no, it was not it. It was a thrumming noise, but it was very faint, and I think it came from the necklace. Now, this is a fine specimen. Could that magnificent piece of jewellery be magical? I've heard things about such objects in Roxburgh, but could they really ex exist? That fence, Victoria, I'm sure she knows something about it. I'm going to keep it close to me. Hmm. Is that why you died? Is that why you were given the necklace? Because it was dangerous? Where is your necklace? I guess it should be here, but isn't. And I guess we have to go find the wine cellar and that, uh... I guess is the, one of the downwinders. Ah, noisy metal floors. My favorite. Oh, broken sword. Broken chair. Bits of rubble. I'll take a water arrow there. Let's see, it's looking one way trip. Oh, there's a ladder there, and it's just almost invisible from this angle. Sewer entrance. Another flash bomb. Nice. 
What's this notice? Attention guards! The master suspects a thief might be stealing from the wine cellar. So you'd better keep an eye on that sewer hatch in this very room. Otherwise I fear the master may not be as gentle as me. And don't you toughest try to get inside, only he has the key. Captain Sinclair. Alright, so that's the wine cellar. And I have the key now. Looks like a secret door. If anything does. Some broadheads. Some valuable wines. Well, one one valuable wine and a lever. Hello there. What have we here? Moth arrows. Is a keeper place? Oh, how odd. I might need to keep it open actually, I have an escape route. This is definitely a keeper. I doubt that they're everywhere. is enormous. Um. Oh. And it's also not unoccupied as I thought. Guess that makes sense. It's all dark, dirty, and makes it hard to see what's shadowy and what's lit. Well, let's keep an eye out for that fellow wandering back. So I don't really think there's any dark corners right over that way. She's surprised I'm hidden here, to be honest. This is no. As ordered by Elder Ingvar, first keeper of the New Market Sanctuary. All sentinels must patrol and watch for intruders until further notice. The medallion of true seeing, the magical relic we thought was lost forever, has returned within our secret halls, and it is our duty to keep it safe from reach. Access to the shrine is, of course, prohibited until we seal the artifact somewhere safe. Only superior keepers may enter. Access to the newly built Newmarket sewer access is prohibited for the time being. Please either use the nearby power station or the Hightown sewer system if you really must leave the sanctuary. Should any incident occur, report Elder Ingvar immediately. Well, there he is. Ooh, tile floors. Do not like. Be still. I shall return you to the ashes, rogue. You shall be still. Right there. Haha. -ha. Right, um. Yeah, that was a bit reckless, but. Well, I thought he wouldn't see me there, but I guess I was wrong. No. I hit someone else as well. Escape. That would be inevitable. Did 
you hear me? To me, it's nice and dark. Your fate right. is a hurricane cannot. that cannot be outrun. Whoops! Ah. Ouch! I shall steal your breath away. <laughs> Ow! You cannot escape the inevitable. I'm gonna try, especially now. Ouch! I don't want to waste my second flash bomb if I don't have to, but, uh... The intruder, the intruder eludes me for now. I thought I was going to land on the carpet and, uh, pickpocket him and be smart. You cannot <laughs> escape! Alright, 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 alright. I've got a flash bomb here. How about this? Ow, I can't see. Happy now? No, no, I want your money, not your, not your corpse. I mean, you're not, not a corpse yet, but, you know, whatever. All right. Ah, oh, dear. Garrett is uh, not as good at evading keepers as he would like to be. Skull candle. Notes and books that can't read. What's up here? Nothing. As it was foretold, the medallion of true seeing has returned to us. Elder Ingvar was most pleased when he finally acquired it, but I wonder how he managed to find it. Does the new access to the new market sewage system have anything to do with this? Elder Ingvar was so secretive about it. Ironic. A keeper keeping things from keepers. Sounds less ironic and more like exactly what they would do, right? library. Okay, that's just another stairs down. What's this? Elder Ingvar's chambers. Locked, of course. But, not beyond my lockpicks. Uh, Elder Ingvar does not appear to be at home. Tell me that's a healing fountain. No, just a noisy one. Ah, uh, whatever, I'll take it. But healing would have been more my preference. Keep a shrine key. And a revocation. Elder Ingvar, while I certainly congratulate you on retrieving the medallion of true seeing, I do not, however, approve of your careless methods. Our order was built with the purpose of remaining hidden and observed from afar, and by killing that man and stealing his possession, you destroyed this very purpose. It is with immense grief that I have to, from now on, temporarily strip you of all your titles and privileges until your trial. Thusly signed, Second Keeper Theobald. There's a note on the floor. Work on the access to the old castle is complete, and we can now use it for moving around the city via the new market sewage system. The power station became too dangerous, and it leads right into our forbidden library. This way also allowed me to sense the medallion as true seeing, and acquiring it will undoubtedly make me climb hierarchy faster than through regular means. I must hide my true motives and stay focused. I really got lucky on this one. I knew the medallion was close, but the council urged me to build this access. And now the medallion is almost ours. I know my disciples question me on why the tunnel goes right into that wretched man's cellar, but I cannot answer to them now. They feel something is amiss. So, uh... Power station connects to the library, and, uh... The tunnel goes right into the cellar of the place I was trying to get there. 
thing that the necklace from. Where someone else stole the necklace. I guess that must be the medallion of Shuxing and the whole thing about having uh, killed that man. Killing that man, stealing his possession. Yeah, they must be talking about um, the very man I came to steal the necklace from. Bloody keepers keeping my own loot from me. Alright, so that's the answer of why he was dead and what happened to his necklace is the keepers took it. It's always the bloody keepers, isn't it? They're always, always meddling in everything, aren't you? Oh, that door does not open. There was another door back here. Ah, uh, that's the way back to the cellar, isn't it? So there's this door. Bombs. Nice table. Oh, that's a very nice room. But I shall run and jump on your table. Steal your gold dishes. No, it's not a valuable cup. I thought it was a valuable cup. Right, uh, that was. Who are you and where did you come from? There are more of them about, okay, nice. I'll have to be a little more on my guard. Good, I can make a carpeted pool of darkness. I'm running along on those. Ah, oh, I picked up some more, good. Alright, uh, I am actually going to, I think, cut this short just here in the episode and be back in a few little bit for the next one. So, thanks very much for watching and I will see you soon.